not supposed to be a good day today, so we'll see how we get on. Right, I'm just going to show you what the problem is. We're supposed to be doing this foundation here. There's been a bit of a been a bit of a ball ache getting it done because um, the previous project manager made the decision uh, because there was a well in it. They're digging up and there's a well, and he made the decision to move the foot in a meter without telling the client, and then they've got the ball asked about it and said no we need it we want it where it is <laughs> and i think it's just because they've done it without asking but anyway they've added the meter on the back they had to dig down right fucking deep down here uh and put rebar in the side of the footing and then concrete it now they've come to set it out and someone has not only changed the design to a meter where it's supposed to be but now, once after it got poured, they then changed to 200 mil to the left or to the right, I'm not sure. Uh, so the footing is actually on the wonk. <laughs> um, so it's looking like they're gonna have to concrete in here, concrete in here, and then uh, rebar down the side and concrete down the side to get the footing on. So that's now dead a dead plot until that gets decision and sorted my next problem here's my pin we've got that um, 95 mil insulation to go in there's my wall that we could carry on up through and there's my wall that will be going on here that's 60 mil that is so we're now waiting because this room here it has to have two i have to go and put two courses on it first and then it has to be tanked, then I have to put a course on the outside, then it has to be tanked, and then I can build it. But at the minute, I haven't been able to build it because of that problem that, you just, that I've just shown you. What? Give me that fucking trowel here, bruv. Give me that fucking trowel. What have I got to do? You've got to spin it a few times and then yeah. throw it in the air. Spin it in the air and catch the Yeah, it's not a very good trowel for that. That's not, you can't spin it consistently, it's not, it's got no weight on it. I have that. That goes, it literally sits about there. So, yeah, that's no good. So, this section here can't be built. The other problem is We've, the lintels haven't been delivered for block three, so we can't complete block three. The other problem we've got is block one, lower level, we haven't got all the lintels for that, so we can't complete that. Um, up the top, they've got no materials to complete the outer section of the lift, so we can't do that. So yeah, <laughs> these are the problems you come across when you do your own job. Um, when you're not in charge of ordering your own stuff. <laughs> but there you go, and sorting your own stuff out. Anyway, moan over, let's get on with work. Me and Tom are racking back the gable ends and the guys are just carrying on down here. George, is it coming to you? Yeah. It's all right. What? Uh, she said, uh, I forgot to ask for stiff muck. Good. Then I touch you like that. Oh yeah, look at the rainbow look. Give us a rain dance then. Show us your rain dance.
keeps stop start and rain so we like get out of it get back in it get out of it get back in it and it's just not working so everyone's going home bar one person one person needs to do something for me inside a room and he's happy to stay to do it so I've, me and Amy have got to go and do something for a couple of hours and then I'm going to be back on site anyway because uh, I've, I've got to do a couple of things myself. I have no idea who done that. Oh, fuck me. Oh, oh Jesus God. fucking Christ. I want to go check the light. <laughs> Oh, oh, wrong. Off the Jesus, get away, George. Just sneak. Right, is that how we do a minute? I'll take this off quick. Wrong side of the line. Yeah, I fucked up on that wall. Uh, it was the wrong side of the line. I set the line up and um, someone ran, whoever ran it in, ran into the wrong side of the line and I didn't check it, so my fault. As a boss, you take the brunt. Even if you didn't build it, it's your fault for not checking it. Um, got built the whole way up. Luckily, it wasn't um, holding much. It wasn't holding any planks. The steel's holding the planks. Yeah, it can still come down. It's coming down now, it's raining. Uh, yesterday, I was gonna do it yesterday, but um, Tim took most of it down. There's a little bit left this morning. Uh, Amy ain't gonna work today. I'm gonna just gonna get the two boys to rebuild it, Tom and Harry, um, and there's some cutting out to do at the windows, so. Right, so my next job I'll do while I'm not busy outside working is print drawings off that I'm gonna be on next. And I'll get my highlighters out and start highlighting the bits that I wanna make sure I don't miss. For instance, uh, I'll go for, I'll do all the windows in a certain colour. So we've got a window, window, window. I'll do them in green, and then a maybe like a red for doors, 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 doors. And this way, uh, I won't. There's less chance of missing anything. So when I do take my time with a drawing, it will look something like this. Um, now I'll get it laminated. But I'll also do, there's just there's other bits and bobs that I'm going to do with the other drawings as well. Right, so I've now marked it up. I've got green for windows, pink for doors, pink for doors, and orange for the pier sizes and opening sizes. I've got two doors here, which I haven't got a measurement for. So to find that out, I need to look at the... GA of the ground floor and this tells me my movement joints and the uh, lintel numbers so I can now can see that that is a lintel 10 11 12 13 so I'll go to the lintel schedule and I'll have a quick look at the internal leaf opening and then we'll go for 10 11 is catnick bsds but they are a 10 10 opening and a 15 10 opening so then i'll just go back to the drawing and i'll put it in there myself just so when i come to it i can remember so on this drawing i've done the lintel numbers in green so I don't miss the lint. So it's just, it's easy to spot. You don't miss anything. That's why I like to highlight stuff. And then the movement joints. We've actually got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We've got about 19, 20 movement joints in this small box set, box plot. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Let me know if you lot have ever done anything. Any of you brickies out there have ever done anything this with this many movement joints in it. Me laminator. Okay, so these are all laminated now, which helps protect them a bit, especially in this weather. Uh, that's that done. Yesterday I was doing these drawings. This is block three. Uh, block three 
is um, I've got all the windows set out, I've got all the doors set out, but the next, uh, on, a, on a plate lift, you want to find where your first floor head of frame windows are and your top of wall plate. That's the main thing I'm looking for. So I've highlighted that on this on this these sections, um, and I, that, I didn't really need to do that to be honest. There's a lot of things you can do as a ganger, as a boss, to make sure you're prepared for the future build, um, especially when it's a rainy day and you can't really get on. There's always things you can sort of check and get on with. Last night, you got in there. Look, tell them what you made pasta, yep. bolognese, Lovely. With cheese. With cheese, we've got our little microwave here. Look, does the job. How long we've been in here now? Nearly four months. Four months. We haven't, apart from staying in the odd hotel, no, we didn't even No, We still <laughs> went come back to this, yeah. didn't we? <laughs> Uh, yeah, we've literally lived here for four months, haven't we? Almost, yeah. Saved the fortune. Yeah. Worked out probably the average household's probably about £1,500 a month. So, um, obviously we just pay for diesel, but that's an expense that everyone pays anyway. We pay it anyway, won't we? Coming to and from work. Yeah. And uh, I think the only thing we buy is the gas... Yep. The gas um, bottles, which we pay £30. Pound. We had one come with it and it lasted a couple of months, didn't it? Yeah. We've bought one since we've been in here and it costs us 30 quid for cooking. Yeah. We love it in here, don't we? we it's, do. It has been really nice. I'm in, I'm in the bed, cosy in the bed. Cosy in the bed. We've got our little uh, we've got Netflix in there. TV look. on. Yeah. Watching the rain. Watching the rain go by. I've actually got. I've actually got my PlayStation under here. I don't play it, but it was, you know, it was a good thought at the time. So my PlayStation under here. I've got my telly here. Yeah. Uh, we've got a gas cooker. Give a gas cooker look. Uh, there's our sink. Amy had to get that hose. Yeah, you had to get the hose, didn't you? Posh little fucker. Got our drawers up here with all our bits and bobs in. We've got plates and bits and bobs under here. The toilet goes in here. The toilet's out there at the minute. <laughs> Fruit and that goes under here. Mamie goes there. <laughs> Hello. You yeah. get nice and cosy up there. Yeah. Pissing down, I know. We've just been doing the 140s. We're sitting in my hair, hang on. Fucking hell, I can't be looking like that on dirty. It's that wet rain. <laughs> wet rain. <laughs> rain that gets you wet, yeah. Rain that gets you wet. That wet rain. I'm going to make some grub now. Might make a bit of steak. I've been eating a lot of steak and eggs. Fried in goose fat. <sighs> Lovely. Well, it's thundering in, lightning. We're going to call it, well, we've called it a day. Everyone's gone home. It's half 11. It's getting to that time of year for the old brickies where you lose time. A lot of people, it's two sides of it, uh, and I've been on both, where oh, I'll be gutted, I can't work, I can't earn any money, I'm like, you know, getting pissed off because of the weather and stuff like that. But I've got to a point in my life where I realise work isn't everything. Even though I love my job, and I love getting stuck into it, and. Um, you know, you feel really like you've accomplished something on each build, no matter what it is. Um, but I do enjoy a bit of time off when I can have it. Um, but if there is something for me to get on with, I will get on with it. But like I say, um, if you're good with your money as a brickie, and you don't mind a bit of time off, winter's great. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says. Uh, I used to be like, oh, I've got a fucking time off. Uh, now I'm like, oh well, never mind. Go down to the gym. I've been smashing the gym a lot lately as well. Uh, eating well. Me and Amy have nice chilled out afternoons and that, and chilled out days when we don't. So, anyway, 
If you enjoyed today's video, I know it wasn't quite what it normally is like, but it's just, there's not really a lot to time lapse or video or anything like that. But if you enjoyed it anyway, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, get the fuck out of here. And I'll see you in tomorrow's.